Hi, we are here with David Spiribauer, who has played with a great variety of artists such as Solange Schnolls, Ravis to Alice Cooper. Welcome to Speed Gig. Thank you. Welcome to my house of recording. Which drummer inspired you to pick up the drums? Uh, that would be my cousin. Yeah, I saw him playing the drums and heard him jamming when I was very little, so that inspired me. Nice. Your favorite gig so far? Um, any live video, TV, in-studio, recording, performance, that's, I like that the best. Filming and recording sound at the same time. Cool. Yeah. Your favorite album? Visions of the Emerald Beyond by Mahavishnu Orchestra. Cool. Your favorite drum book, drum video? Sticking Patterns by Gary Chafee. We all know that one. <laughs> the worst thing uh, that's happened to you on tour? Um, being stuck out on the road without any money and any budget to travel home from the tour. <laughs> wow. Yeah, not very fun. A first recording? Uh, um, with the rock band from the area at the Raksbrick Studio with Hans Ara. Cool. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Producing, writing music, recording music and playing the drums and other instruments. Led Zeppelin or Deep Purple? Deep Zeppelin. Do you play any other instruments? Piano, piano and guitar, but not worth mentioning. Your hobbies? Rock climbing. Eating. Do you prefer studio or live? I like them both. Tony Williams or Buddy Rich? I also like them both. Have you ever missed a gig? Almost. Because you couldn't go back home? Uh, no, because of traffic. Oh, okay. Do you have a, web a website? Uh, yes, davidpiribar.com. Your current favorite drummer? So many. Vinny Colaiuta, Chris Coleman, Paco Seri, um, Luis Cato, Gordon Campbell, I don't know, so many. Do you prefer your drums tunes high or low? Depends on the music. How do you spend your time while waiting for a show? Um, sometimes relaxing, sometimes warming up, sometimes eating a lot. What do you not like about musicians? Um, that a lot of musicians don't do a lot of things outside of music and they're usually very limited in their perception. <laughs> do you use apps? Um, yes, maybe uh, tuning apps for guitar tuners or drum metronome apps like uh, from Frozen Ape, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me three musicians you would like to play with? Three musicians I would like to play with? Uh, ooh. Uh, very difficult. Maybe John McLaughlin, um, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, but he has passed away so I cannot play with him in, in, this, in this world. Um, and I don't know. So many. Maybe more people from the Eastern musician world. Cool. Your last recording? Um, for a pop track for a young singer from Italy. Nice. By the name of Danny. Vodka or whiskey? Beer. <laughs> I would like to know about your experience in LA. When and why mm -hmm. did you go to LA? Well, I initially went to Los Angeles after I graduated from nursing school in Austria. Um, I went there to visit Musicians Institute in Hollywood. I'd heard from an acquaintance of mine who went there that he had a good experience and, and learning a lot. and uh, So I decided I'll go there, not really thinking much about Los Angeles. So I, I wanted to stay there for one year and eventually ended up uh, being offered to play with uh, local musicians and so I started doing that, finding gigs 
and uh, later on was recommended to auditions and landed some gigs and ended up staying there and changed my plans from the one year plan to almost 12. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you.